Hi, everyone. Welcome to John's Briefs. Back again with criminal defense attorney extraordinaire, Tim Forshee of Forshee Law. Hi, guys. Make sure you go check his law firm out. I mean, certainly if you're in Phoenix, uh, if you needed criminal defense, this would be my guy. Has also helped my family out with family law stuff, uh, helping my, my one of my children through a really ridiculous divorce. And uh, so if you need family law help, he does that stuff Thanks. too. You don't like that as much as criminal law. I don't like it as much, but... Uh, but it feeds your family. It feeds the family, and you're also, you're still helping people that need help, so it's kind yeah, of fun. Yeah, yeah. So uh, also does my NFA trust, so, you know, I, I, Tim's not a sponsor of the channel, but he agrees to be here, and so you should go and support him. I, it's, you're having a, having a fun conversation with a buddy. What yeah. the heck have you heard of that? And uh, so this is not a fun video, though, because no. uh, we're talking about, in particular, we had a recent video on the channel of two women who resisted... Um, a rapist, and that was caught on, on camera. Thank God both women did. But I wanted to talk to the attorney about why we consider particularly the crime of rape as great bodily harm. To win the fight after the fight, you need help. After a use of force, I trust Firearms Legal Protection to help me win the fight for the rest of my life. From their 24 seven attorney answered hotline to coverage for the use of all legal tools, Firearms Legal Protection has you covered. Get a discount by signing up at the link below. So the, the second we start talking about, you know, it's one of the four things you can't talk about. It's, it's this is right. the, the, one of the four polite things: are religion, politics, money, and sex. Yep. Right? Um, people get squeamish. So this is a discussion of sex, and so if that squeamishes you, just pass this one up. We're right. not going to talk about, you know, we're not talking about the actual acts. We're talking about the violable acts, which is non-consensual sex. Right. And you know, when somebody... And in fact, for our purposes today, let's define it as violent, non-consensual sex. Violent. Because we don't want to get into the whole Me Too political discussion about stuff. We're talking about an attack. Yeah, so we are talking yeah. about an attack here. But right. but also, I mean, I, I think this still falls under date rape. Or mm -hmm. So, you know, again, here in Arizona, you can stop a commission of rape with deadly force. It's in our statutes. ARS 13411. 13-411, yep. rape is listed as a statute yep. or attempted. Well, rape. it actually says sexual assault. Sexual so assault. Covered, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Which, is, which certainly rape covers uh -huh. that. And so that's considered a violent felony against the person. It's considered great bodily harm all by itself. Right. Why, why do we put that particular one in, in that bucket? Well, again, I'm, I'm a student of history and I, and, I, and I read a lot about World War I and World War II history. And uh, rape has often been used and is unfortunately still being used today as a weapon. So it's a, it's a way to defile and degrade your victims. You know, mm -hmm. uh, of course we're going to rape all the women when we, when we retake, uh, when we retake Poland. Of course we're going to, as the Soviet wave comes through, that was a, a, almost an acceptable thing that the officers turned a blind eye to and they, they would, they would take a woman in and they'd have as many men rape her until she died. I mean, rape can be fatal. In fact, it often is fatal yeah. because, uh, not necessarily, again, not to get too down the weeds and grizzly with the biology of this, not necessarily the physical act of rape, which will certainly be injurious. Uh, and, and again, an adult man raping a four-year-old, you know, we don't need to go into a lot of detail how that could be fatal. But um, oftentimes at the conclusion of the rape, the rapist realizes if I get arrested for this and, and I'm convicted, I'm going to go to prison for the rest of my life. But if I kill the only witness who can identify me and then I get caught for murdering the witness, I'm in no worse trouble than I'd have been anyway. And so what we see is we see a fair number of rape victims who are actually killed following the rape. Yeah. It's a rape murder, it's not just a rape. <clears throat> and so as I'm being raped, am I supposed to know whether they do intend to kill me at the end yeah. of this or not? There's a reasonable presumption that a lot of folks who are rape victims end up being murder victims as well. And there's that part. And, and even if they don't, in my, in, in my view of this, the, the emotional, psychological, spiritual damage done, because rape is about power, not about yep, sex. Right. Rape is about control and, and power dynamics. That, that takes from someone something that changes them forever. Absolutely. In fact, um, and I, don't quote me on the statistics here, but my understanding is that rape victims commit suicide 13 times more yeah. often than the common person, than a yeah. person who's not been raped. So you're, you're, you're literally increasing the odds of suicide 13 fold. Uh, that's not, I mean, that, that tells you about the anguish, about the, the trauma that people are unable to cope with here. What about the other people that don't commit suicide that are near committing suicide? It's unbelievable psychological, psychosexual trauma yeah. that, as you said, is going to be life altering. And how much are we supposed to let people have or force them to put up with that? Yeah. And the statistics of the number of people who have been the victim of sexual assault in America are, are astounding. Yes. It's not just women, it's men too. It's surprisingly, uh, more men than about 10% of rapes are men. Yeah. yeah. I would say much more than that, actually, because... Uh, men won't report it. Men underreport it even Way more than women. Yeah. And women underreport it too. Yeah. And so 
I, I just want, the, the purpose here, again, we saw those ladies that fought this guy off and good for them for right. fighting him off. Um, and, and recognize somebody is trying to sexually assault you like that and, and you have the ability to stop that with deadly force, I would say it is a moral good to do so. Absolutely. That's, so is, that's a reprehensible human being. It is, it is, again, the height of not just physically what's done to you to overpower you, but the physical combined with the emotional, the spiritual implications of what that takes from you. Mm -hmm. uh, we also know from statistics that women who resist a rapist are no more likely to be injured right. than women who do not. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they said, well, I didn't want to resist or anything because I didn't, you know, because I was afraid he would hurt me. If you resist, you're no more likely to be injured, but you are far less likely for the sexual assault to be completed. Correct. Far less likely. Uh, and, it, and also when we look at this, we say, well, can you use lethal force to defend yourself from a rape? The answer, I believe, is yes. In fact, legally, the answer is yes. Absolutely. But then again, I have to say, how do you know you're only going to be raped? Somebody's attacking me. He's much bigger and stronger than me. He's got me down. He's tearing my clothes off. How do I know this is only going to be an act of rape? I, and, and the answer is, of course, I don't. And as we've quoted a couple times in, in, in our past videos, Oliver Wendell Holmes, you don't have to have perfect ref reflection in the face of an upturned knife. Do I have to wait and see how this turns out before we know how it turns out? No. Right. And, and, and again, many of these are, are very cut and dry. You know, yeah. a, a sexual assault by a stranger, very cut and dry. The ones that, that get less cut and dried, this is why we've had this big discussion, mm -hmm. right? So it's two yeses and one no, right? So right. if it's time for sexy time, two consensual yeses, one no. That's, that's it. That's right. how that goes. If either person says no, it's no. And that's okay and you're not obligated to have sex with somebody you don't want to have sex right. with. And, and so listen, uh, I want us all to recognize this, that when we, when we can coerce and force somebody into the act of, of sex, um, we're violating them in ways that are, are insane and intense. And we take from them, we are inflicting great bodily injury upon them. I, I want you to recognize that, that if I, if I force myself on somebody that's a date, that's even my spouse, Yeah, that is inflicting great bodily harm upon them. That is as bad as hitting them over the head with a baseball right. bat. And, and we shouldn't put up with that. So if you've ever been the victim of that, please report it. Please Amen. go get the help you need. Please, please let's get that person behind bars. And we should consider it great bodily harm. I just want to clear up one thing that uh, in, in Arizona, again, it's ARS 13411 and the statute mm -hmm. simply says sexual assault. And if you look at sexual assault, you, you don't have to go to the sexual assault statute, which is also in Title 13, to figure out what that entails. It can be something as subtle as uh, touching someone's breast, yeah. touching someone's buttocks. Um, these are all examples of sexual assault. I think John and I are not saying if somebody cups your breast, you're entitled to shoot them. If somebody swats your fanny on the, on the street, you're entitled to shoot them. That's a deplorable outdated 1940s concept of, of male-female relationships, and I hope we all agree with that. Yep. I don't know that it rises to the death penalty level. So you've got to have some discretion here as well. Let's remember, keep your hands to yourself. Yeah, kindergarten. What's Everything you always needed to know, you learned in kindergarten. Right? You don't touch keep someone non-consensually. Amen. Simple as that, yep. right? I don't care if that's my friend Tim. I don't care if that's my wife. Uh, certainly, you know, any human in my world, non-consensual touch, not okay. At the same time, Again, good, reasonable person. You know, we say, oh, okay, wait a minute. Uh, a, a guy cat calls me, so I'm going to shoot him. No, you're going to go to prison for that. Yep. Um, a guy pins me up against the wall and, and wants to start putting his hands all over me and kissing me, that's going to rise to the level of sexual assault that certainly you should resist that with physical yeah. force without question. Um, and, and, you know, if he won't stop, well, then now, wait a minute, I've got some serious, right. uh, serious problems. I see it happen in workplaces. I've heard of it happening in, in romantic relationships. Never okay. So it is great bodily harm against their person. And this is why I think, and, and, and some abuse is notwithstanding, I, I will say I stand with women and believe them. You know, yeah. that they, this is so common that, that uh, we have to be more careful about consent. We have to be more careful about recognizing that as a man, I have great power because I'm stronger and bigger. And so I have to be cautious to go, is this yes? Are we, are we on the same page here? Yes, I wanna have sexy time. Great, sexy time, it's great, let's have sexy time. It makes me think of a movie that I can't remember what the movie was, but there's a couple in bed 
and you can tell they're getting ready to have sexy time, and then the camera pans out, and you can see that they've, they've each got their lawyers on either side, and they're actually, <laughs> yeah, right. they're actually signing a contract yeah. as to what is allowed and what's not allowed during sexy time. You I can take it too far, but. I literally saw a, a celebrity the other day that had an interview that, that when uh, they were dating people, that before sexy time, they I saw, had an NDA. I saw that news, I know who you're talking about, I saw yeah. the news article, yeah. I've, uh, I've seen, her on, Simone, I've seen her on Broadway, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I love Raven Simone, yeah. she said, no, before it got to sexy time, we had to have an NDA, yep. and I'm like, God, man, celebrity life that's, sucks, that's but I get got, it. That's what we've gotten to, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Anyways, guys, please, uh, you have the right to protect your person. And ladies, you have the right to protect your person as well. Rape is great bodily harm yeah. against your person. And, and you should protect yourself from that fight like hell. And you have every right to protect yourself from it. That's why. And let's get those guys out of the gene pool. Yeah, fast. Tim, thanks so much. Absolutely, always, buddy.